Welcome back to 30 Second Basketball, where we go over yesterday's games and recap them in around 30 seconds. Let's get started. Some continued series and a closeout happened tonight, as the first game was the Heat knocking out the 8th seeded Hawks in a 97-94 win. With no Jimmy Butler and no Kyle Lowry, it was Victor Oladipo stepping up big with 23 points on 8 of 16 shooting and even 3 steals. Bam Adebayo added in 20 of his own with 7-11 from the field and 11 rebounds. Trey Young was once again shut down heavily, having only 11 points on 2 of 12 shooting, including 6 turnovers. It was DeAndre Hunter trying to keep them in the series with 35 points on 11 of 21 shooting, but the Hawks fell just 3 points short as they lost to Miami 4-1. to one. The Heat will now await the winner of the 76ers-Raptors series. A super entertaining series continued last night as the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Memphis Grizzlies battled in Memphis to try and grab an important Game 5 win. The Wolves grabbed multiple double-digit leads over the course of this game, and Anthony Edwards hit a three to tie the game with three seconds left, but John Morant hit a game-winning layup with one second to seal a 111-109 Game 5 Grizzlies win. Carl Anthony Towns had a great game for Minnesota with 28 points, 12 rebounds, 3 steals, and 2 blocks, but John Morant had a game-winning layup in him with 30 points, 13 rebounds, and 9 assists. Memphis now leads the series 3-2 and will try to close it out in Minnesota on Friday night. The last game of the night was an exciting one as the Pelicans Sun Series both battled for the Game 5 and Phoenix. It was a close one all game, but Phoenix would end up taking this one in the end 112-97. The Suns were led by Mikael Bridges, who had a fantastic game with 31 points on 12 of 17 shooting, 5 rebounds, 2 steals, and 4 blocks. Chris Paul put in 22 points with 11 assists and 3 steals as well. For the Pelicans, no one shot particularly good tonight as Brandon Ingram was their top scorer with 22 points on 7 of 19 shooting. He also jammed his pinky finger late in the fourth quarter, which was not good. The Suns now lead the series 3-2 and will try to close out this series in New Orleans tomorrow night.